Hello. Today I'm working on removing the LSPV, which is the Toyota Load Sensing Proportioning Valve. I'm going to replace it with a manual valve, mainly because I'm not even using the proportioning aspect of it, or the load sensing aspect of it, I should say, which usually has a bar that runs from here to your axle, which senses the distance between the axle and the bed so the brakes can proportion the amount of fluid going to the front and rear based on the load in your bed. After I swapped in the axle from the second generation Tundra, I removed that system because I have a flat bed. I also have disc brakes in the rear now, so the proportioning valve doesn't really fit into the system anymore. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do, and these things go bad often anyway. So I'm gonna install a manual one so I can set it and forget it, and then if I need to tow or something, I can adjust it myself. So we're gonna start up front at the master cylinder. I'm going to remove the return line that goes to the LSPV in the back. It is, might be upside down here, but it is this T fitting here. Comes out the bottom of the T fitting. I'm gonna cap that off with one of these. This is a Dorman, you can see right there. It's an M10 by one by eight millimeter. So next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the proportioning valve itself. There's three lines coming in. Top line is in, bottom line is return, and then the line facing towards the center of the truck runs to the rear soft lines. So we're only gonna keep the line in and the line to the rear soft lines. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that return line that we just did undid from out front. This is going to drip, so make sure you have a pan underneath. I'm going to put a cap on these. That's one. two lines that we're going to keep. Next, we're going to go ahead and just remove the entire valve itself. Oh, that was easy. Oh, gotta love Toyotas. 20 years, these haven't been removed and they come right off. just slide out of there. So valve is removed. This is the new proportioning valve I'm going to use. So Will Wood. It's got a single in, single out. That's all we need. There's a bunch of different options. 
Um, Willwood's pretty well known company though. It seems pretty clear and simple on this one. In and out are labeled. These are the mounting brackets, which I have not figured out how I'm going to do yet. And then obviously it's a manual proportion. So we'll go ahead and get this installed in the lines. All right, so I believe my camera died while I was installing this. Uh, so I got the little plate I made here. The proportioning valve is bolted to that plate. Now I rebent the stock lines and ran them in through the bottom. That's the line coming from the front. And this is the line coming out to the center brake line in the back. This is easily adjustable. Just reach under here and turn it left and right. It's pretty well protected. I just gotta be careful if I have to take this shock bolt out. Nice thing about this truck is with the flatbed, I can do everything from above. So this should be nice and protected up here. Um, we'll stick with it like that for now. And I just gotta get out on the road and test it. And basically I'm just gonna start testing it by closing this valve all the way down, doing some brake testing. I put a little white mark so I know how many turns I do. I'll just go and do test, do a few turns, test, do a few turns, dial in how I like it, and uh, go from there. Once I get everything dialed in and make sure it's working, I'm going to go back and pull this extra line out all the way to the front because there's like, I don't know, 15 or 16 feet of brake line probably that I can pull out of here and save. Um, and I still need to bleed the brakes, but other than that, that's pretty much it for the swap. All right, thanks.